<clears throat> so similar to the arrival process, the service process is the same, but here uh, we are talking about the time that it takes to serve someone, for example, to uh, when you go to a restaurant, you give an order, the time until you get your order or the time that you spend at a restaurant, that's your service time. That is also random, right? Uh, for example, think of a teller, bank teller. The time he serves the first customer and then the next customer, this time um, is exponentially distributed. And instead of lambda, we call it mu, service rate, the number of people you serve in every time unit. If S is exponentially distributed, so here instead of A, I'm using S, exponentially distributed, number of customers served in one time unit has a Poisson distribution. Why? Because they're basically the same process. Because I'm talking about the number of customers, I should use S. Uh, and S of T instead of 80, is lambda, uh, sorry, mu, instead of lambda, I just use mu. Mu e to the power of mu t. Okay, now I have very interesting question. And after this, I have another one and then we will be done. Suppose all three servers, so here we have three servers and people are waiting in line, all right. This is customer number four is waiting in line, customer one, two, and three are being served. So these are uh, server one. This is like a server two, server three. For example, these are in a bank. Suppose all three servers are busy and service time follows the exponential distribution. A customer is waiting. What is the probability that the customer who's waiting, this lady, customer four, uh, will be the last of the four customers to complete service? Just don't think about any of the formulas you've seen. Just think um, in a, with a very open mind. If I ask, if, if, I, if you don't know any formulas or anything and I introduce this question to you, how would you answer? So the thing is, <clears throat> at some point, one of these will leave, right? One of these will complete service and leave. Let's say this guy leaves and she takes his place. As soon as she's there, um, the, the time, the remaining service time of these three is the same because they are following exponential distribution. And exponential is memoryless. So you can't say, for example, oh, this guy has already been there for five minutes. So they are very close to, the, to leaving. You have no idea, it's exponential. It's not normal. Like most people leave around five. It's not normal, it's ex exponential. So it's memoryless. Therefore, once she's here, they all have equal chance, right? Uh, so the, the, chance, the probability that she leaves last is the same as the probability that customer two or three leaves last, uh, which is just one third. <clears throat> okay, that's the answer to this question. So I have another one now. Think of this one. Suppose I arrive at a queuing system that is described like that. When all servers are busy, what is the probability that I will complete service before at least one of the seven customers in service? So first you want to 
so before I do that, what, what type of system is this? This one? One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to put six characters here. It says um, the arrival and service time are exponential. So I just put two M's here. How many servers do I have? Three, three servers. Does the system have any uh, capacity? No, so infinite. So, uh, sorry, the queuing discipline is just general or first come, first serve. No capacity and population is infinite because it's like a bank or something. How about this one? First try to see how, how the system looks like and uh, after that, try to think about the question and find that probability. First of all, we have seven servers. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And there are people waiting here. All right. And it says the system has a capacity of eight. It says when there are eight people in the system, it's already full, they close the doors. It says when I arrive there, the all servers are busy, so there are already seven people in it. So when I arrive, I'm gonna be the eighth one, they're going to close the system. What is the probability that I will complete service before at least one of the seven customers in service? So again, one of them is gonna leave and I'm gonna replace them. Could be any of them. Let me actually put this one. <clears throat> so for example, this guy leaves and I replace them. So now there are seven of us. The probability that I leave at least I leave before at least one of them is one minus probability that I leave last. If I leave last, I'm the last guy who leaves. But if one minus that means I leave the sixth person, fifth or first person that I leave is me. It includes this probability leaves includes all of the uh, possibilities that I leave before at least one of the one of the other six and one minus what is the probability that I leave last any of these can leave last so that's one over seven so that's six over seven 